hi there and welcome to uh, our look at the highlights in the astronomical space exploration community for 2021. We'll work through this month by month, but not every month will be covered. In fact, we're going to begin on the 18th of February, which is the date the Perseverance lander will touch down on the surface of Mars, the latest NASA Mars rover. The main purpose of Perseverance is to study the Martian soil for past and present signs of life and test out new technology for possible human uh, missions to Mars in the future. In March, not quite sure of the date, OSIRIS-REx will leave Bennu. Now, of course, we know that OSIRIS-REx has successfully got a sample of this asteroid um, and it will begin its two and a half year journey back home. Hopefully, on its return, we'll be able to study virgin samples of asteroid material which is really uh, the building blocks of the solar system. In fact, material inside asteroids, like uh, in comet tails, predates the solar system. And it should return on alert to Earth on September the 24th, 2023. In April 26th, 27th, we get a supermoon. Um, quite easy to look at with the naked eye. And they occur at the time when the moon is at its closest to us, at the time of a full moon. Of course, no natural object does a circular orbit. They're all slightly elliptical. So the moon has a point when it's at its furthest and when it's at its closest. They're known as its apogee and its perigee. The apogee at its furthest, and the perigee at its closest. So a supermoon occurs at the time of a full moon when the moon is at perigee. It can appear about 40% bigger and about 30% brighter in the sky. But unlike the pictures you see on newspapers, it won't fill the sky. It's only fractionally closer, as you can see. Well, if you miss the 26th, 27th of April supermoon, there's another supermoon on the 26th of May. And for those of you who, who live outside UK and Europe, you may have a chance of seeing a lunar eclipse on this night as well, which would be quite interesting, a lunar eclipse at the time of a supermoon. On the 10th of June, we get a solar eclipse. Visible over Canada, Greenland and eastern Russia, it's an annular eclipse. The, the new moon is at uh, apogee. It's at its furthest point from us, and therefore it's not quite big enough to cover the full disk of the sun. So we get a ring of fire appear around the moon. As you can see, in other parts of the world, you may get partial eclipses. Just like a total eclipse, you need to use um, solar viewers to look at an annular eclipse. On the 13th of July, we get the conjunction of Mars and Venus, when the two planetary neighbours appear to be side by side in our skies, very similar to the one we had of Jupiter and Saturn around Christmas 2020. And also in July, Juno comes to the end of its mission at Jupiter. After the spectacular work and imagery and data that has been sent back by this highly successful mission, the spacecraft will be deorbited and plunged into Jupiter and again it will send us data as it crashes into the Jovian atmosphere which will give us more information on the makeup of Jupiter's upper uh, cloud belts. And finally on the 13th of October the James Webb Te Space Telescope finally launches. Now this was originally planned to be launched nearly a decade ago and it's due to go up on the 13th of October taken into space by the European Space Agency on an Ariane rocket. There should be a period of overlap between James Webb and Hubble, because of course Hubble is coming to the end of its lifetime now, uh, having done an incredible amount of work for over 25 years, and James Webb is its replacement. It's a near and far infrared telescope, so it should be able to look further back, further out into the red shifting universe than Hubble currently can. Well, those are the main highlights looking forward into the next year, into 2021. Um, of course, we cover the monthly highlights um, as we go by in our monthly sky guides. So I hope you enjoy looking out into space. Thank you for watching. Dark skies, clear skies, stay safe, and uh, speak to you soon with the monthly sky guides. Bye for now.